Hi guys, my name is Nicola, I'm a registered dietitian and I post over at Mummy Nutrition. In this IGTV, I'm going to be bringing you my top 10 tips for weaning. My first tip is to not rush into it. Most babies should wait until they're around six months of age, can support themselves in a high chair, can coordinate bringing food up to their mouths, and then finally they can swallow their food rather than spitting it back out. My second tip is to allow your baby to become familiar with the weaning environment before you actually start. So when my baby was around five months old, we popped him in the high chair along with some toys. And what this meant is that when we finally did introduce food, he wasn't as distracted. My third tip is to start with vegetables first, either pureed with your baby's normal milk or on their own or as finger foods before moving on to sweeter things like fruit, as well as porridge, yogurt, beans, lentils, and meat. My fourth tip is that when you come to introduce potential allergens like peanut, you start with a really, really small amount and you leave at least three days gap in between them to monitor for any symptoms. My fifth tip is to aim for your baby to be eating three meals a day by the time that they're around seven months of age. So at breakfast, having a dairy or alternative, and then at lunch and dinner, having a source of protein and iron such as meat, fish, lentils, or beans. Tip six is to avoid giving your baby any choking hazards such as whole cherry tomatoes, whole grapes, nuts, popcorn, as well as small hard pieces of vegetables. You should also avoid adding any extra salt or sugar, including honey to your baby's meals. Babies can only have honey after 12 months of age. Tip seven is to offer your baby a small amount of water with each meal to teach them how to drink. If your baby is under six months of age, it should be cool boiled, but over six months, it can be drinking tap water. My eighth tip is to batch cook. So I love the mantra, cook once, eat twice. And a really good example is if you're making yourself a bolognese, make sure to make more than what you need for your baby. You can pop it in the fridge or the freezer, but just remember to add salt once you've taken out your baby's portion. Tip nine is to remember your baby's supplements. So all babies who are having less than 500 mils of formula need a vitamin D supplement from birth. And then from six months, they need A, C, as well as D. My 10th and final tip is to try to relax and enjoy the weaning process. It really does go by so quickly. And if you're relaxed, the chances are that your baby will relax and that they will eat more too. I really hope that you found these tips useful and I would love to know if you've got any more in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, bye.